Well, nothing gets to this Italian's heart faster than a simmering pot of sauce on the stove. And knowing there's some fresh basil waiting is key to the perfect pasta sauce. But have you ever tried growing basil? It's not as easy as it should be. Here is Master Gardener Cisco Morris to help us out. Bonjour. Uh, bonjour. Bonjour. All right, so Cisco, I understand that the word on the street is that basil was not as quite as popular as it is now back in the Middle Ages. No, in the 15th century, some famous botanist wrote an article, sort of, you know mm -hmm. how they did in those days, that uh, about a guy who sniffed basil too much and he fell dead and when they opened up his head it was full of scorpions. <laughs> so don't sniff it, just eat it. <laughs> I do not know why I didn't think this story was going to go any other way with that, but I, I know that now. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. I understand, which is, <laughs> there are a lot of different kinds of basil. I only thought there were two or three, but I didn't know there were so many different kinds. What do we got here? 60. 60 kinds of basil. It's a lot of scorpions. All right. So what's this one? <laughs> this is red shoe soap. You know the only thing? I bit a little piece, you know, and yeah. um, it's not that flavorful oh, as really? some of the other kind. Should yeah. I try it? Yeah, I... give it a little try. We got to try all, all this because right. it smells good. You're right. It's not the as flavorful. The smell is better than the flavor. Yeah, it's all, all, right. all for looks, no personality all for right. this guy. But it is very cool looking, you know. Yeah, you can put this and in your container. Isn't card. it true there are certain herbs you should and should not plant together? Certain what? Herbs. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. But I think basil can go with anything. Okay, so this, if you want a prettier pot, that's yeah. good. Okay, so what is this one? This is a very dark. That's amethyst. Oh. So this is the same as this Genevieve. Oh, it smells. But it's just, okay. yeah, this is a good one. All right, oh, let's take a la, 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 la. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, la, la. Mm, oh, delicioso. Delic muy delicioso. Okay, that's good. Amethyst, mm, it's pretty. I like it's, that I amethyst. Like that. How does it cook up, though? Does it look like... It, it turns sort of green when you cook oh, really? it, I find. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then this is the Genovese. Yeah, which, how do you beat that? No, this oh is my good. Oh, my gosh. Right, let's just just, try. I mean, I already know what it tastes like, baby. but I just like eating your plants today. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh. Have you noticed how it's kind of brown in some spots? Yeah, I would be like, uh-oh, Cisco, what have I done? Mary planted that too early. That's what Dude, murders don't call, basil no, all Don't the be calling time. Mary out on my show, man. <laughs> Sorry, uh, don't tell her I said that. Okay, all right. This is, okay, so it got a little yellow if mm. it gets planted too early. Yeah, it was just too early, but still good. This is just Italian basil. Yeah, oh, that's good too. Oh, all right, I I'll try that. that, all right. It's getting, I like it, all right, huh? Yeah, me mm -hmm. too. Now, Effort, ooh, I feel like they're getting stronger as we go down the line. Is that are, your intent? Uh, well, I didn't really think of it that way, but I should have. <laughs> but uh, yes, watch out for this one. This is African blue. It's okay. strong. Oh, is it? I'll mm -hmm. just take a little leaf. Here, this you want a little leaf? Things, There's one yeah. for you. Nice little one. Just a little leaf. Um, ooh, a lot of whoop, flavor in oh, there. Oh, yeah. If you need a lot of basil in something, or... If you only want to grow a little plant, and there you go. And then this finally, this becomes quite ornamental and has beautiful. It is flowers. beautiful. There's I a little red as an spider plant. on there. Okay, and then oh. this one is the cinnamon roll, yeah, cinnamon have basil. You ever tried that? No, it's here. Pretty good. Thanks. Right. I was surprised. Oh my gosh! It almost tastes like um, fennel licorice. Is that fennel? Yeah, yeah. That's got a fennel flavor in it. No doubt about it. Mm. More fennel than uh, than cinnamon. Yeah, definitely. That is really good. Okay, yeah. I I think this is amazing that there are so many different varieties. But I do have a question. I really really want to know because I struggle. I bought a basil plant, and every basil plant I buy dies. So is it better to grow it from a seed or a plant? It's easier if you buy it from a plant. Okay. But you can't do it too early. That's the main thing. It can't, if it goes into the 40s, a yeah. lot of times that's all it takes to kill it. Okay, so what about light, uh, fertilizer? What does it need? Full sun for sure. Okay. People over fertilize basil. You don't want to do that. Yeah. So only a, a quarter, uh, probably a quarter cup okay. of, uh, of fertilizer <laughs> under each plant. Okay. Also, make sure it's organic if you're going to be eating it. I'll just yeah, say that. Yeah, for don't, sure. Don't be putting miracle Grow in there no, and then no, trying no. to eat it. Um, and the other thing is make sure it's like 5-5-5. Five, five, five. You don't want 5-10. 
Because okay. that'll make it flower, and when they flower, you lose the flavor. Oh, okay. So we, we have a question, because me and producer Rebecca here, we've also tried to grow them in the windowsill. They never grow. Is that just not enough light? Yeah. They gotta have a lot of light. Right. If it doesn't okay. have a lot of light, then okay. it doesn't do it. And sometimes in the house they get <laughs> aphids. If that happens, just take it in the shower and blast the aphids off. And, right. uh, Sayonara aphids. Yeah, that's right. My other <laughs> question that is. It's Italian aphid. They're tough ones. How, when I do use it for cooking, like where do I cut? Do I take it off leaf by leaf? Like, that's what do you do? That's a good question. This is my favorite. I love this Ooh, tool. That's I a use fun it little for tool. everything. Okay. So you just go out there. And cut it off. Cut just the head right off. above where the right, little branches are. And that'll make it divide. Now, I could have gone down another one. So just right here? Yeah, right uh, down farther. Right, right there. Okay, and will this grow back from that, that shoot? That'll double now. You'll okay, get two right. for the price of one. That's good to know. So again, and, you do it from right the there. And the key to growing basil, you don't want it to flower and lose all your flavor. So every morning, what I do is wait until the dew dries off the plant. Okay. Right then, it's full of oil. It's the most flavorful it's going to get. And you go out there and trim right down. Right after the dew in the morning. Yep, and if you do okay. it every day, then they, that keeps them from flowering. Oh, so, you know, so okay. And then you can also dry the basil too if you don't get to use it right you, away. You can dry it or I freeze it. Oh, you so, freeze uh, it? Yeah, so what I do is I, I uh, boil it for two minutes. Mm -hmm. There's some special word for that, but I can't think of it. Blanch it. <laughs> blanch it, mm -hmm. thank you. So I blanch it for two minutes and then uh, chop it up, put it in ice cube trays, fill it full of water, you could store it for six months. That's great news. All right. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, I love it. Wait, do I have any scorpions in my ear? Can you uh -oh. see? Uh, oh, no. no. Okay, there are. Okay. We're good. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Cisco.